Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is Volkswagen car modeling in Maya chapter 8. Okay, so move on from the last chapter what we left and hide the surfaces that we already created and converted into uh, polygons. So I'll just work with the start with the hood. Now let me adjust these uh, positions over here. Adjusting the vertices according to my model and actually I'll uh, delete few of the surfaces selecting the faces uh, because uh, I want to recreate few options uh, or edit few options few areas which is uh, 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 couldn't be possible in uh, NURBS and just delete these parts and delete the half of it also now some people definitely can ask why should then should I uh, start with the nerves modeling with the nerves because uh, starting with the nerves is quite easy to create a basic surface and then you can move on to the uh, polygonal uh, different polygonal editing tools uh, because they are very much handy while edit the surface rather than editing the nerve surfaces so here I'm just doing the same thing the same with the same concept just extrude this uh, that's how we uh, actually you know adjust your uh, or remodel or reshape your uh, car according to your uh, requirement it's fine <coughs> I just you have to understand that uh, we have to create the last ages so just uh, first adjust those vertex and then just select the last edge and we'll just extrude it fine this will be you know adjusted according to my blueprint of the car select the front part and push it Just uh, pull towards the bonnet, the hood, the base of the hood, where the surfaces are you know, divided into two, two or three parts. So that's it. I'll push this a little bit backward. Readjust the shape in a three-dimensional view in the perspective. According to your surface low. Fine. Now just uh, select the. Uh, the last two vertices and it will just have to adjust according to my guidelines fine it's almost taking up the shapes set okay so just select the edges over here and just extrude them now why I'm extruding because uh, this extrude is going to uh, create the side thickness of the surface where the adjusting adjacent uh, surfaces are actually connecting so creating that edge I have to extrude that in inside so that that will create a thick use the merge vertex tool and just uh, getting the shape already fine so I can see the thickness of the bonnet and I will work on the frontal hood of the car cool That's looking pretty fine. Just to reshape those a few, you know, vertex from the side view. Just to add some, uh, you know, uh, edge for creating that curvature properly. I can slide edge through my surface, not to you know harm the part, and also add some extra edge loop for 
for the supporting the construction of the edges cool so now it's it will be up to you absolutely what right? we are actually uh, finish the finishing touches it's absolutely your you know, uh, view that we actually want to finish the detailings we have already started so let's say just uh, delete the history so and now we'll move on to the uh, front fender part uh, above the tire just readjusting the edges according to the need of the blueprint fine yes. make sure everything is within the uh, new guide guideline or the blueprint borders cool now I just extrude the edges the outer edge for same creating that uh, surface for the supporting surface so just create a split edge ring and I just have to merge the vertices use by using the merge vertex tool fine so this part has been a bit complicated but you have to add some extra cuts I just delete the the other half of the surface just we are adjusting the shapes and you can see this uh, there is no uh, sufficient uh, cuts are out there then you have to add some edges according to your requirement if you really want to because while creating nerve surface we, we could uh, never understand well, how how much uh, exactly how much uh, edges we required but just a rough estimation that we have created and whatever we need some extra cuts we have to that is very easy in polygon you know editing the surfaces rather than uh, uh, knobs because knobs are very much calculative uh, towards creation of the surface and editing of the surface so that is this very tricky when they have to be very tricky because I have to extrude and have to merge with the fender part I have to create another one Oops. sorry just move a bit forward so that the bulge will be supporting I have to mo uh, combine those surfaces and now I can use the required required cuts and I can merge the surface merge the vertices sorry cool just pull it outward so that whenever you, you see this kind of uh, irregular edges you can scale it down towards one and that we help you out same way you can use the merge tool or the merge vertex tool as requirement so I'll just conforming the surface so that the uh, normals of the faces doesn't messed up conforming is a very very powerful tool for modelers whenever you say any <coughs> normal distortion you can use the conform and the reverse action from the normal menu fine so that's it it's a uh, fender part has been already connected fine now I can uh, you know just readjust the uh, frontal part so that uh, my surface look really nice downwards fine you have to look uh, uh, th very thoroughly thoroughly uh, for the inside our edges uh, now we move on to the uh, the base of the 
surface it's just uh, no um, creating that edges and uh, just supporting the edges by creating these extra edges and uh, manually also so that is the supporting cut that I added fine <sighs> this part is pretty uh, much interesting here you can uh, only I've already adjusted few cuts uh, over there for creating the surfaces now I'm just going to you know uh, uh, draw the lines according to my uh, blueprint outlines Again, it's a day's look tool. Just pull it out. Fine. Cool. So that now this is looking uh, really nice for taking the after taking the supporting cards. I can put some more cards over here. Fine. So now we can uh, yes the pinches are very important because uh, that should not be there so you have to look for those pinches and you have to add some more extra cuts Just pull it down a bit this is overlapping almost overlapping surfaces I have to adjust this uh, the corners which is, which is quite sometimes it look really complicated while uh, you are creating any any kind of uh, uh, hard surface this kind of hard surface is really tricky one with the corners where the cuts are uh, you know divided or maybe divided into two three more uh, new cuts so just uh, push it where the surfaces are actually merging uh, they are always separate surfaces because uh, it might happen that I need to open this bonnet while uh, using it in, in some films maybe uh, presentations or anything so that's it for this chapter I'll just leaving over here and we'll move on to the next chapter thank you very much